Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your girl 121285, baby girl. Welcome to my channel. And today, you guys, I'm going to do Love and Hip Hop, the season finale. I'm going to just go over a few things with y'all right quick on what happened for the season finale. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do last week's episode. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had so much stuff I was doing. But, um, because I knew it would have been a long video. But, okay. Let's go over Love and Hip Hop season finale. Um, Lil Scrappy goes to Erica, you guys, and tells Erica, "Look, you know, I, I want to get back with you. After all has all that would happen, you know, he still wants to get back with her after he done dogged her and went to sleep with Shay, you know, behind her back. Now he wants to go back to Erica. So Erica gets, you know, she was like, look." I didn't have enough of you shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm done. I don't want that no more. And you can have it. I don't want it. I don't want you. I got a new life now. So I don't blame her on that, you guys. So I think she made the right decision. Now, um, she has her uh, new man in her life right now, her realtor, which she has a new house. She's getting her life straight. She doesn't want to have you know nothing to do with little scrap except for the child uh, that's involved uh, so kudos to her she is doing her her thing um little scrappy goes to shay and tells shay that he tried to get back with erica but they decided to to chill out and stuff like that so shay got pissed she was crying could you imagine you guys i mean on one hand i see what she i see i get her her feelings you know what i'm saying her feelings was hurt she you know he she was messing with him you know they was fucking you know what i'm saying and she he decides to want to go back to erica like yeah that would hurt my feelings too but on the other hand you was messing with him while they was together so now you see how it feels i mean what goes around come back back around you know what i'm saying so they i guess they working on their little thing they're gonna decide whether or not they're gonna be together or not in the meanwhile for the season finale after that he said look i just wanna you know have god in my life and take care of my childy money you know he don't he's so sad that's all he want to worry about i think he want to get other chicks because he don't know what he want to do he really don't he's confused poor baby but to carly red and benzino they're having trouble in their relationship well Carly Red, she says that he's jealous a lot and he's not doing the stuff that she thought that he would do and he was doing before. He wasn't doing, he's not doing what he was doing before, like being a the sweet gentleman. So she decides she wants to have someone on the side. She she decides she wants to have a backup plan. She in the um episode she was uh talking to Roscoe Dash and telling him how she's not in a good relationship right now and she's exploring her options and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Um Benzino, he wants to proposed to he told stevie j he wants to propose to carly red but he been hearing about her messing around on him and all that so he's unsure now now when he goes to propose to her when he decides to do that she tells him that she has doubt that she she um she wanted a little bit of space i guess that's in other words that she she kept asking him are you sure that's what you want in other words i guess that's not what she wanted because he said that he wanted to make a commitment to her you know and that he loved her and after he heard that she said she got doubts now he showed her the ring that he was going to give her she was unaware that he was going to propose so you know in her face she's like oh my god uh, and then he takes the ring back and she like okay what the fuck what you just did you know he took the ring back 
you know, because she said that she had doubts. But he just wanted to show her that, look, this is what I was going to give you. But since you want to act like that, you can't have, I'm taking my shit back. I don't want to uh, marry somebody that have doubts about me. You know what I'm saying? So I get what he's saying. But he needs to make up his mind what he want to do. It's like he playing. He playing games or something. Like, you... You say, I mean, that you want to settle down and you're not the um, jealous type of this and that. And you you stop what you was doing in the past. And the way he was acting, he's acting like he was crazy. I, I will see the reason why Carly Rae will be like, look, bitch, I don't want to be with you. You know, you kind of making me a little scared. You know, let me get somebody on in a bag as a backup plan just in case your ass try to do something crazy, you know. So... So they're not together, you guys. So, um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Let's see. Mimi, Stevie J, and Jocelyn. Mimi and Stevie J and Jocelyn go back to counseling. And that does not work out as usual. I could have told them that. Um, Mimi, she's like, she doesn't know what she want to do. Y'all like, oh, that's just so aggravating. This dude is just stepping all over you and you just letting him and now you want to go tell the people like man what the fuck he just did this to me oh man i mean how do you expect somebody to have sympathy for you but you just keep going back to it i mean you only hurting yourself so stevie j come in with the i am god shirt which that's what he thinks he is i guess he thinks that he he owns every woman in the world which that's not uh, he wants uh, every woman to bow down to him and sorry but he is living in a fantasy world he is really living in a fantasy world because them women need to stop it for real they need to stop letting him think he he all that <laughs> they need to stop letting him blow up his head because that's i guess that's why he liked it i don't know what he got that the woman want but they need to let it go let it go because each and every one of them will catch something behind his mess so um stevie j he wants all three of them him jocelyn and mimi to have a threesome to like i said he want to be in this little fantasy world jocelyn was like you know okay cool with it. i'm cool with it as long as you as long as we have sex and you know you give me my money this and that Excuse me, y'all. As long as you give me my money, this and that, it's it's cool. Which me to me, that kind of sound like she tricking or something. Like she a hoe, what she is. But she was just a stripper, so that didn't really sound right to me. Like when she says, as long as you know we have sex and you still giving me my money, but I don't love you. Why are you having sex with somebody you don't love? why are you gonna just let him keep doing this to you like i said i guess they want the disease or whatever i mean i don't know but jocelyn like okay look she don't care what what stevie j do she just want what she want she's happy that she's not a stripper anymore and she's moving up as an artist she's doing more performances her name is more out there now um mimi she wants to move away from stevie j she don't want to be with stevie j no more um she has her own business uh, uh some cleaning service with um that's helping um celebrities and stuff like that so she get clients and stuff so she says that's her way out she's dealing with that she don't need none of stevie j's money but you know what you guys i'm not convinced because she don't know what she wants she I can't wait to see the reunion because I'm unsure what she wants to do. I don't think she's going to leave Stevie J. That's my personal opinion. I really don't. I think he's going to sweet talk her like he's been doing and she's just going to keep going, running after him like always. Um, Stevie J was like, he told her after she said that, look, look, you're not going to leave me. She was like, man, please, ain't nobody want your ass. <laughs> no, that's not what she said, but she's like, man, please, look, I got my own thing going. You got your own thing going. Look, just we separate. We're going to go separate. So that was the end of that. We'll see for the reunion. Um, let's 
let's go to K Michelle and Rashida they are arguing because Rashida had she is good friends with little uh, Wayne's baby mama husband so I don't remember his name you guys forgive me I don't remember I forgot his name but she uh K Michelle says he beat her no one wants to believe her because they don't see him that way right now so my opinion on that situation I think Rashida should have stayed in her place on that situation I think she should have took I think she should have been like look I don't want to get into it because y'all both my friends I just leave me out of it she, she should have just did that because she just made matters worse because now she's taking sides and in that situation you was not there to see if that happened or not so why would you take sides you don't know if this man was like that in the past just because he's not like that now does not mean he was not like that in the past so you don't know what kind of hurting he done on Kate Michelle that's even if he did so like I said I, that's a bad situation she didn't got herself into um she came and show say look I'm gonna find proof y'all don't want to believe me y'all think I'm crazy look I'm getting tired of this bullshit I, I didn't look y'all was not there so she doing her thing on that uh Rashida and her husband y'all they renew their vows after 12 years so they back to how they was before and Rashida decided you know wherever I'm at in my career as long as my husband is with me I'm fine so kudos to her on that that is so sweet so I think that is it you guys that is it I cannot wait oh Erica gonna find her uh, another man. I think I said that. She's gonna find her another man. Um, she's not gonna be with a scrappy no more. She's messing with some Italian man. I think it's a, he's an uh, Italian man, but um, she has a new house, so she ain't worried about a little scrappy little like ass. So <sighs> that is it, you guys. K Michelle, she's she's gonna um, she's gonna worry about her career and she's happy the woman she is now and she's gonna try to forget the past so that's it you guys i ain't gonna say no more next week i can't wait for the reunion because i will hit y'all back up on that i will let you know what's going on there i hope that i'm not busy around that time because i really want to see what happened and i want to share it with you guys so thank you guys for watching see you later <laughs> sorry see you later